But the real gender gap was not between men and women, but between single white men, women who tended to vote Democratic and white men and white married women who tended to vote Republican. Thus rests another paradox within the decade of liberation, if you will, a paradox within a paradox. While the culture appear, the culture appeared to accentuate personal liberation and group rights were extended to ethnic minorities and women, it was traditional women who provided the catalyst for political change from the right. Progressive liberal liberation produced an irony, the mobilization of right-wing women. If this was the age of liberation, it was, a, it was equally the age of reaction. 